Hey guys, we're here at LA Mart, the Reef, for the LA Comic Book and Sci-Fi Show. Um, this is what's usually called the Shrine Show. We go all the time, several times a year, usually every other month over the last couple years. We love it. Um, a little bit different setting, obviously, here. Much brighter. Uh, not the same kind of uh, archaic setup as the Shrine, although the Shrine is very kind of endearing. They have 25 years of history there, so we really love that setup as well. So we're kind of curious to check out the floor. Definitely seems a bit more crowded and busy as we're here, so looking forward to checking things out. We're going to take you around the floor, and then we'll wrap things up with an under the con at the end of the show. Hopefully you got a feel for what the uh, show is now that it's moved to the reef here. Um, this is our Under the Con. If you've not followed along with our videos before, this is where we go underneath the hood of the convention to look a little bit of what was going on there. Um, also check out some of the purchases that may be indicative of what we saw at the show. So for us, we picked up uh, just a handful of things. Uh, both of the toy and comic variety. So first picked up the new Pulp Fiction reaction figures uh, from Funko. So um, this is the only line that we're really collecting from that series, but they have them there. Picked up the four for 35 bucks and then picked up one of the new Marvel Legends, Machine Man. Um, they have them there for 25 bucks and most of the rest of the Avengers as well. That was uh, really a bulk of the floor is kind of the newer toy scene. Wasn't quite as much of the vintage as we've seen in the past at the, the show, so not sure uh, why that was exactly and there's a little bit of it but just not quite as much from what we've seen and not as many deals from that that we did find there did seem to be though even a stronger comic uh, vibe than normal we only picked up one book Justice League number 11 uh, which is helping us get to that uh, end goal of having all of the Justice League and Avengers book um, books uh, but there was a good deal of just bins to dive through. A lot of 50 cent bins, quarter bins, lots of trades, a lot of good deals on graphic novels, things like that. Um, not much in the way of new comics, a little bit of that, but not quite as much. But the LA, uh, the, what formerly is the Shrine Show, uh, isn't really known for the new comic scene as much anyway. It's more of the vintage stuff and a lot of bin diving there. So good feel. Definitely this is a big step up in terms of location. Everybody we came across uh, was enjoying it more here, whether it was vendors, customers, cosplayers, uh, the, the talent, the kids in particular seem to seem much more family friendly, much better in terms of temperature. You know, it's much more even kill there, not as hot or as cold as the shrine can get. And I mean, just the feel overall, I mean, the reef is a great spot uh, to have a show. Uh, Scare LA was there formerly, so it'd be nice to see more conventions come here. Hopefully the show stays here as much as I love, you 
you know, I'm more of a Laughlin than a Vegas guy and things like that. I love the kind of old school feel of the Shrine. At the end of the day, this is a huge step up. It's a much more professional looking show. It'll attract more talent, more customers, uh, more vendors all the way around. Um, you know, it, it's, it's definitely the right direction to go. So hopefully this is something that becomes a mainstay and it can move away from that title of being the Shrine show to being the LA, LA comic book and sci-fi show, which is, I think, what it really deserves and what it is. And so had a good time. Can't wait to the next one. They did not announce the next date, so we'll see about date and location. So would love to see this become kind of a every month or at least every other month as it has been at various times in our history. Uh, there was even a point in time it was, you know, definitely an every month thing. So hopefully it gets back to that and can become a really consistent part of our convention circuit. So definitely check it out. Keep an eye on our homepage at parksandcons.com for more on it. We'll probably be talking more about it as well on our podcast. So you can always check iTunes Stitchers for all of our coverage of conventions, theme parks, and all of that. It's called Parks and Cons. So we'll wrap up here. Until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere.